next. It's game two of the day from Founders Park in Columbia, South Carolina. It's the host institution, South Carolina, playing host to the champions of the NEC, Central Connecticut State. The winner of this game will face NC State tomorrow evening at 6 Eastern. Yeah, he was fantastic in the SEC tournament in his start against Georgia. Only allowed four hits in six and two-thirds score scoreless innings. Hussey short, Redahan along with Nickel, one, two, three, four, got thrown out and as a result suspended for this game. And Hussey gets hit by a pitch. And he's a leadoff base runner for the Blue Devils. As he watches on from the team hotel. A strikeout of Brady Short. Fastballs look lively in this one. Redahan over to third. One, two. Five, four, three. He's the Saturday starter for the Blue Devils. Normally you'd see Dominic Neiman up first. But Newman's done a nice job. You see 73, 71 and two-thirds innings pitched. It'll be the DH, Will McGillis, leading things off. Wimmer and, of course, Ethan Petrie this week. And the 1-1 in the right for a base hit. A leadoff single for McGillis. But overall, you... It, it's the best decision for him to wait another day. How about that strikeout? Four of them have reached base. Hit sharply over to short, but fielded by Elliott Good. The throw is low, but in time to get Braswell. And the great escape by Jake Newman wraps up. The Ross taught him how to paint the corner like that. You beat me to it. That is a good find by you, sir. And that goes into left field. Look like underneath the glove of Lee Croy. The pitch. Called third strike. Hicks paints perfectly again. And, of course, one of the big points to talk about for LSU as this one is in the left for a base hit. So Gavin Casas. Deserving, but there were some others that were deserving as well who finished a little better. Bunt popped in the air, gonna be a tough play. Everybody's safe. Newman set. Swing and a miss, and he gets a big strikeout of Braylon Wimmer. Let him take a half to even get a strike. No need. The first run of the game is in, courtesy of a walk. Newman ahead. One and two. And Messina. Flies this one in the air towards right. Rios making the catch, and once again, not a ton of damage done by South Carolina, but. Teams that Charlie Hickey has built that is a mainstay in the tournament. One, two, swing and a miss by Josh Taylor for his high school football team. Oh, two. And he's out. Certainly a scary reaction for South Carolina. One, two, and it is a sixth strikeout for James Hicks. Right on ESPN Plus. Line drive down the line. It'll kick off the fence in the left, and it will be a double for Lee Corps. Sprays this one to left. This is trouble. And it's off the wall. It'll score a run as Casas at second base. 
He wants some more from the crowd in the dugout. And South Carolina has more on the scoreboard. 2-0. In each of the first two innings, would love a two-out hit here. Hit well, out to left. And this is off the wall. This will score a couple of runs, and the lead balloons for South Carolina. It's another extra base hit, and this time McGillis pushes across two. Point, obviously, but I thought that ball was a home run. I agree. The umpires correctly let it play out so that they can go back and take a look. Let's see where this thing hits. Yeah, that thing hits off the rail above the yellow line. That's a home run. And I have a feeling this might be overturned. And it is. Will McGillis credited with a home run, a three-run home run that makes it a five-to-nothing lead for South Carolina. Speaking of Coach Kingston, as this one skied in the air towards left on the track and making the catch is Sullivan for the final out of the inning. But a big frame for South Carolina. Petrie getting an RBI via a walk. Last time up, bobbled and short by Good. The throw off the mark. And Petri will stay in place at first base. Doesn't have a positive effect on the umpire for your next call. 3-2 in the left. It'll drop for a base hit. Everyone advances a base. And the bases are loaded. It's had I'm a little surprised, but the lefty lefty matchup makes sense. The 0-1 drops in the center for a base hit. Two runs are in, and the lead is seven to nothing. Two more RBIs for Gavin Casas and his third hit of the day. Casas is fifth game with at least three hits this season, and we will have a pitching change. Two two. Hit into the hole and into right field for a base hit. This will play two, and the lead extends to nine nothing. It's an RBI hit for Dylan Brewer as Braswell and Casa score. And it's a bases loaded walk. Another run is in. And it probably was was uh, Cole Messina. Well, there's a hit for Cole Messina. This will plate two more runs. 12 to nothing, South Carolina. It's a two-run double for Cole Messina. Seeing Jake Newman. Line drive drops. It'll be an extra base hit for Braswell. Two more runs are in. And make it a third. A bases clearing double for Michael Braswell. It is 15-0 South Carolina. I wonder if that has to do with... Ground ball. In the left for a base hit. Braswell makes the turn past third. Throw cut off. 16-0. Concludes. You have to bounce back tomorrow. It's the first 10-run inning in the NCAA tournament in the expansion era. And finally, the curtain is brought down on the fourth inning. A dominant performance by South Carolina. James Hicks. Certainly, he's been incredibly sharp so far. Over to short for Wimmer. The throw to Messina, two down quickly. Campbell did it earlier. They lost 5-1. South Carolina up 16 zip over Central Connecticut, who did it earlier as well. Ground ball over to Wimmer at short. 
They throw to Messina. One, two, three. Go to the Blue Devils. Team batters, 11 runs and 77 pitches from the Blue Devils as this is stung into center field for a base hit. The first hit of the night for Braylon Wimmer in the same inning. We got a chance to get up a couple of times in that marathon fourth. A shot to left. Forget about it. Number 23 for Ethan Petri. A two-run homer by Petri, and it's 18 to nothing, South Carolina. On Thursday and then again on Sunday in two starts as this one's hit over towards shortstop and good and he's had a rough day at short as LaCroix one two to French up the middle base hit another run scores as Messina brings in run number 19 a scene we have seen plenty tonight bases full of Gamecocks but there a strikeout to close the fifth inning one guy that South Carolina fans will be excited to see back Will Sanders guy who coming into the year was considered one of the top prospects on the mound in the entire country Sanders ahead of Josh Taylor here 0-2 and a quick strikeout. I absolutely believe that you'll see him again. The question is whether or not you'll see him on Saturday or Sunday. Oh, Roberts, a dangerous four seed, given the uh, Cowboys all they can handle. French hits this one well to the track, and the catch made by Sullivan. As possible from your memory, and then they don't have a lot of time to dwell on it for sure. 3-2. Hit well out towards center. Going back, and that ball is off the fence. Rounding second and making his way towards third with a stand-up triple is Jimmy Sullivan, and he now has two hits, both hits, for the Blue Devils. I, I, again, we, we talked about a little while ago. I, I would imagine it will be an exciting experience tomorrow night as the wild pitch puts Central Connecticut State on the board as Jimmy Sullivan scores the first run of the game for the Blue Devils. It's 19-1. It means a lot in terms of obviously winning the league, but obviously it means a lot in terms of possibly winning a national title. This could be two, and it is. So Denny grounds into a double play to conclude the eighth inning. One one. Hit sharply to Braswell. One out. Blue Devils down to their final strike. Three two pitch. Swing and a miss as the ball gets away. Thrown over to first. And McCreary closes out the Blue Devils in the ninth as South Carolina moves on to Saturday in the winner's bracket with a 19-1 victory over Central Connecticut State University.